Hi, welcome to the show. I'm Suzanne Lynn, and I'm so excited about today's uh, guest, Dave Kirpin. Uh, I'm fangirling just a little bit. Um, he's a serial entrepreneur, a New York Times bestselling author several times over. He's a keynote speaker. I mean, the best way to, to talk about Dave and what he's done, he just heads up a lot of cool things like Apprentice, which connects entrepreneurs with really smart and bright college students, uh, likable social. Um, it's a medium software company that serves thousands of small businesses. He's the chairman of likable media. Dave, welcome. And what is up with all the likable stuff? Thank you. It's great <laughs> to be here. And uh, yeah, I, I decided to go with it. It's a, we, um, we, we, you know, our first book was likable and our first company was likable. So we just decided to keep, keep, keep at it. And um, it's been a lot of fun. That's great. And what we're talking to right now are a lot of authors who would l like <laughs> to be able to sell more books. What is the key when you talk about being likable and, you know, sharing their books and being relatable, where would you start with them? Yeah, well, look, I don't, I don't know that anything I say is going to reinvent the wheel here. I think a lot of what I, I, I love helping authors, talking to authors, coaching authors. And what I always say is the more, the bigger you build your platform uh, before you write your first book, uh, the better. And um, authors that have large social media followings are going to get bigger advances and and sell a lot more books. And so it's about building a brand, a personal brand and personal following um, that um, is as large as possible before, during and after your books. Um, and I think that makes it a lot easier to sell books, you know, when, when you have new ones out. How do you do that? How do you build your brand? How do you get followers? Yeah, so the three main ways to get followers. Uh, one is you pay. Um, yeah. Does that work? Does that work? Sure. Yeah. yeah. The, the ad platforms are built to, um, to build, built to encourage, um, ads to help build your following. So, um, yeah, if you want, if you want to, if you want to build a following of, uh, 50 to 60 year old people in, uh, Miami, you can target those people very specifically and build a following there. Um, but it, that's also very expensive, especially for authors that maybe don't have a huge, uh, um, uh, budget. Uh, second way is to share great content consistently. If you, uh, create and share great content, people are going to want to follow you for more of that content. And the third on a related note is to engage with and connect with influencers. So, you know, when people reach out to me, um, for instance, I'm happy to share good content that somebody's created with my audience of big, right? Like right. roughly 750,000 people. So if I share your content with my 750, I'll share this interview, right? For instance, right. and I'll help generate with some more followers for you. And so thinking about how you can connect with and add value for uh, other influencers and authors with, with, with larger followings that you have or similar size followings with, with you have, uh, that you have can be a great way to to build your following as well. Okay, so an author is listening. They're like, okay, I, I think I get this. So if I create a podcast or a video cast, and I can have brand leaders like Dave Kirpin on my show, he's sharing it. I'm getting their audience. He's getting my access. You know, vice versa and everything. Um, I'm looking for inexpensive ways to help authors. It sounds like a podcast or video cast. A do it yourself is a great place to start. Maybe right. I do think it's a great place to start. I'll, I'm chuckling because I'll I'll get couple dozen requests for to do podcasts now but i'm happy to, i'm happy to do <laughs> As you know i i i um i i work there thursday afternoons to uh do 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 uh interviews and, and whatnot and so i'm happy to reach out anyone that wants to book me on a podcast can go to schedule.com <laughs> no and, dave's mine you can't have him i got him i worked hard for this one <laughs> yeah no I, I think it's great to connect with others and i i i I've, I've used that to build my following you know i've been able to connect with some wonderful um, influencers online, which, which has helped to build my following. So it seems to me, I mean, you started out doing a lot of writing for medium for the article, right? For, for the, a little writing for medium. I, I, I've done a lot of writing for Inc magazine, okay. uh, post I used to write for Inc Forbes. So that seems like another, I mean, and when I say inexpensive, I mean, dollars wise, it does take time. And, you know, do you have to know the right people to get into that? How would an author who's like, Dave, help me here. You know, what would you suggest? 
Um, nah, you know, depending on what your content is, um, I think more and more sites are open to folks writing for them um, with the contributor model. I mean, you don't get paid for most of these sites. Right. Um, but they are open to having uh, contributors. Uh, and so if you're, if you're, the value exchange is, you know, you, you give them uh, content, which gives them eyeballs, which gives them uh, uh, ad dollars, and they give you the association with the brand. Um, it's a lot of work for sure. I, I frankly, I prefer uh, the three ways that I suggested. But I, <laughs> right. if you, if you know, if you, um, there's not a lot of downside except the time that it takes to write uh, to 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 publish stuff. And sometimes you can also publish excerpts of your book. So if you're if you're if you've already written the material anyway, you can take an excerpt from oh. your book, for instance, and publish it on a medium or on an ink or on a uh, fast company or you know, entrepreneur.com. So we're talking with Dave Kirpin. Uh, one of the books you wrote was likable social media. And I know that you're a huge fan and I am too of the Enneagram. And I think that really works together because Enneagrams um, along the lines of disc learning people's personality, how to speak to them on their language, finding that common ground. That's really an important place to start, isn't it? It's not about you. It's about meeting people where they're at. Yeah, totally. I love talking. Yeah. Graham. That's uh, I'm excited. That I'm a seven. Where are you? What are you? Uh, I am a three. And of course, uh, okay. I'm three. I like to say I'm a very high three. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a very, very, uh, I score very, very high raw score on the three. I'm a, definitely focused on um, achieving and being outstanding and standing out. Um, and the thing about the Enneagram, though, I will say for, for those watching and listening is um, there are people that are super, super into it like us. And then there's yeah. What the heck are what? they even talking about? Right. Yeah, like you said, the Enneagram is uh, my favorite. Uh, I think I think the more the more work we can do on ourselves in terms of self awareness and understanding and communicating with others and how others can communicate with us, the better. Um, so for for many people out there, that means uh, Myers Briggs or DISC or Strength Finders or or all of the above. I mean, for me, it is, it is the the Enneagram is my favorite tool and. We've administered it to uh, over 500 employees, and um, I, I, I use it pretty much every day in terms of how I communicate with others. Um, now, in social media, the thing about the Enneagram, though, is that it's really more the communication. It's really more how we communicate with people one at a time. So if we're using social media to communicate with many people at a time, um, obviously, it's impossible to sort of gear our communication right. on Enneagram type, but we, but, just, you know, an awareness of it certainly helps um, in our, in just our own understanding of ourselves and our blind spots and challenges. Somebody said to me one time, you know, you remember all, all in family, Archie Bunker and, and Edith and everything. Somebody said, you know, if Archie really wanted to communicate with Edith, he would have learned how to speak dingbat. And uh -huh. that's so true. And I think that we have so much to learn about that when it comes to marketing our books to people. So, I mean, one of the places that's inexpensive to be able to get eyeballs on your book is to meet people in social media rooms that they're already in. So if you, for example, had a, an alcoholic mother, a broken relationship, and you know you married someone and made it really big or something, I mean, there's so many different elements of that that you could meet people in different social media rooms, right? I mean, don't be thinking like you're thinking, think where your audience is. Can you speak to that? Yeah, totally. I mean, um, it's really about understanding, like you said, who, first, who your audience is right. and having a really good understanding of your audience. And so some authors are going to want to reach, you know, teenagers and other audience, uh, audience are going to want to reach 75 year olds and everywhere in between and men, women, um, professionals, stay at home moms, you know, obviously. Uh, so the first thing is really, really understanding who your audience is and then where your audience is. And mm -hmm. to your point earlier, in terms of speaking the language, um, really doing the, the, the anthropologic work of understanding how to speak uh, in, your, in, that, in that place. So for instance, if you're a YA author, um, you probably wanna be on TikTok. But if you're, if you're 40 years old, you can't just go on TikTok and like, Right. Your book, right? I mean, right, you need right. And the language of TikTok, it's right. making silly videos. So, um, you really, it, it, it's it, you have to know your know 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 who your audience is, know where your audience is, 
understand the culture of that social network or, or room or space um, and then and then and then dive in. Dave, how have things changed between the last 15 years with with um, technology and social media? I mean, there's an old traditional way of advertising your book and there's today. Can you talk to that? Yeah. Well, when you say old traditional, do you mean like old 10 years ago or like? Yeah, right, right. Old 10 or 15 years ago where, you know, kind of like the yellow pages, you know, like kids today, they don't even know what the yellow pages were. Like that's not a place to advertise. Everything well, has well, changed more. Really a long time ago, but that yeah. Was a, yeah. <laughs> I, I would say um, social media has gotten much, much more crowded, is much, much more focused on um, either paid uh, paid uh, advertising uh, or influencers. And um, um, it's, it's, but the good news is social media is still a really, really great way to reach a lot of people if you're an author. And it's still much easier and better than, uh, and less, and much more cost effective than uh, pre social media types of, of, of channels. So, um, you know, there's still massive opportunity to use social media to build your, to build your audience and sell books. When did things change for you as an author? When was, what was your big, oh my gosh, I've made it moment? Well, I'm very, very fortunate. I mean, I, 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 I hit the best. I hit the New York Times bestseller list in the first week of my first book. So I, I have to say, it was probably. I mean, I'm sure, surely it was that week. Yeah. Um, I would say that that you know some things change and some things uh, stay the same. So I've written five books, but uh, it's still really, really hard. I still struggle every time I you know open up a blank screen and and um and and, and start writing a book. Um, but I, but I think in terms of how things have changed, I think I've, since I've been so fortunate to have a, build a large audience and to sell a lot of books, to, uh, I'm able to, um, I'm able to actually use my books to build a career and to, to make money speaking and to drive leads for our businesses. And, um, you know, I, I was coaching an author earlier today and, and, uh, she, sort of joked about the old adage of, you know, writers uh, not being able to make a living. Um, <laughs> ironically, she had actually done a nice job and uh, will do an even better job. And, and I've been very fortunate if, 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 um, if, 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 if income, if income uh, for my books alone were, were uh, all I had, I think I'd, I'd actually still be okay, which is, uh, it's it's very very hard in today's world to be able to say that. Yeah, absolutely. The thing about your platform with the likable social media platform is that it applies to everybody. It's not just to authors. It's not just to business owners. Like being likable social media, that just makes life better. I mean, it's it's a great platform. You know. Yeah, I would argue that being um, likable, as I define it, uh, listening, being authentic, transparent, being kind, being grateful. Uh, these are qualities that don't just do help you in social media, uh, and they don't even just help you in business. They help you in life, right? Yeah. I think I've been able to um, build a be, be a likable spouse, be a likable mom and dad, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've been very, very blessed to have been, been able to build a very rich, fulfilling life uh, with uh, an amazing uh, wife and three kids and businesses and home and. Um, and I, I, I really think relationships matter and, and, and kindness matters. And, and we can uh, not only use these things to, to leverage selling books and building brand, but uh, building relationships and, and, um, and being happy, you know, creating happiness. Dave, I've got to just mention one more thing before we start to wrap this up. This is what our business does. We create digital media. We create interviews for authors so that they can share their heart. They can be connecting with potential readers. Um, that That's important, right? I mean, to be able to, it's the author who's going to be able to sell their book. It's really, if you're looking at a sea of book covers and you have to decide that it's a lot easier when you get to know the, know the author and, and make that emotional connection, right? Totally. Totally. Yeah. Um, authors, uh, authors, uh, the, the days of uh, uh, sitting back and letting a book sell itself uh, through distribution are long, long over. And so your ability to build uh, build your brand, to connect with others, to do things like video uh, are, are, are essential in, in helping you uh, sell books. 
And then do you have any final words of inspiration for someone who's struggling? I, I've sold three books and it's to family members. We have the same DNA. I mean, how, yeah. how is this going to get any better? You know? yeah, I would focus less on selling books and more on delivering value and building, uh, building, building your tribe and building your audience of people that want to connect with you and want to connect with your ideas. Um, I think that's, that's going to serve you much more in the long run than, you know, pushing your book to more people. Mm -hmm. Trying to shove it down their throat. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you're not you know, uh, you might make a few bucks. You know, you're not going to get rich off of, off of going from 10 books to a hundred books. Um, so you might as well build a brand, build, build a, build, build a brand, build a tribe, build, build an army of people that, connect with you over your ideas and over your passion, over what it is that you have written about and care about. Um, because not only will that help you sell books in the long run, but it'll help you sell something else that you figure out. It'll help you um, build a community that, that makes you happy. And it'll, it'll, you know, often we think we're solving one problem, but we're not really solving the bigger problems. Right. So the answer to, to the, the, the way to sell, uh, uh, go from selling five books, like you said, that you're selling to your family, to selling a hundred books, isn't trying to sell a hundred books. It's building an audience of a thousand, ten thousand, uh, building a community, uh, you know, of hundreds of thousands of people, which I'm not saying is easy, but to me, it's still a much more worthwhile endeavor because A, you'll sell books, but B, you'll also be able to sell other stuff and C, you'll be able to connect with people that make you happy and uh, like-minded, you know, people. And, and, and so to me, that's a much bigger, longer term uh, kind of plan. You think likable social media, is that a great place for people to start kind of looking at how to sell their books and build their brand? Um, yeah, I think, I think it's a where people that want to learn about social media. It's a great, good way to uh, start for sure. Yeah, that seems to be a really great foundation for authors to, you know, find inexpensive ways, get online, do it Dave's way, read the likable social media. And thank you so much. You were just a joy to talk to. Thank you. I'm, I'm honored to have that time with you. My pleasure. It's great yeah. to be chatting with you today. Thanks, Dave. Have a great day.